Hey there, first grade friends. Okay, I'd like to explain some of the shapes and terms you've learned this week so far. They can be a little confusing. So, um, here's my whiteboard, and I wanted to go over the word attribute. Can you say that? Attribute. Attribute. That means a way to describe something. So if I said, oh, the attribute of that girl over there, she has brown hair, she's tall, she's a very nice singer, okay? That's ways to describe someone. So we're describing shapes attributes, okay? The way we describe shapes. Now, there's ways you can and cannot describe shapes or should not. One way you shouldn't describe shapes is by color. So if I said, yeah, go get me that blue shape over there. Which blue shape? You got to be a little more specific. So color, not a good way to describe shapes. Okay, how about size? You could say, yeah, that big one big what you gotta add more to it when you're describing a shape so I wouldn't quite use size okay the other one is position so one of them's facing up one of them's facing to the side it doesn't change the shape but it's there's a better way to describe it we're not going to use the position of the shape to describe it okay now what we are going to use, and some words you might have heard already, we're going to use the vertices. Now remember, the vertices are the corners of a shape. So this one just happens to have four vertices because I drew a square, okay? The other way we're going to describe attributes of a shape is how many sides Sides are the flat lines around the outside. So a triangle has three sides. A square has four sides. A rectangle has four sides. How many sides does a circle have? Zero. Yeah, there's no sides. It's round. There's no flat sides to it. So a circle has zero flat sides. And for it to be a circle, it needs to be a closed shape, closed all the way around. It can't be open with a piece missing. Would you say that's a triangle? No, it's kind of a squiggle. But if I connect it to the top, now it's a triangle because it's closed all the way around the shape. Cool? All right, now another one, another new shape actually, that they show you on your lesson today is called a pentagon. So pentagon, here's how you spell it, pentagon, and pent means five, okay? So five, pent, pentagon. A gon is kind of a fancy scientific word for shape, so a five-sided shape. Um, a pentagon only needs five sides and five vertices. So the most common one is kind of one, two, three, four, five. It kind of looks like a house or a baseball base, right? Um, so it has one, two, three, four, five flat sides. Okay, remember, pent, five. And it also has one, two, three, four, five vertices, too. Five vertices, five flat sides is a pentagon. You got it. All right, so the next thing they also talked about is a square versus a rectangle. This blew my mind. Anybody else go? All right. So a rectangle can be up and down ways, right? Ooh, that's that's not a pretty one. Sorry. Um, or it can be sideways. Okay. But their definition of a rectangle, all it says is that it has 
four vertices, so four corners, right? Four vertices and four sides, four flat sides. Well, does this have four vertices? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Does it have four sides? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Check and check. These are rectangles. But here's where they were getting tricky. So this has four vertices. One, two, three, four. Yes. Does it have four sides? Four flat sides? One, two, three, four. Hey, wait a minute. That doesn't look like a rectangle. Um, but it is. Because their definition of a rectangle is that it only needs four vertices and four sides. Now, here's where it gets tricky. What is this shape actually called? What do we call this shape? A square, right? So a square's definition, square, is that it needs four equal sides. Four equal sides. That's the tricky part, the equals word. So this side, this side, this side, and this side are all the same length. But now this, over here when it's a rectangle, this side is long, this side is long, this side is short, this side is short. So a rectangle that we know has two long sides, two short sides. And a square has four equal sides. When you see this little box in the corners, that means it's all equal together. So here's the weird thing. A square can technically be a rectangle. But a rectangle can't be a square because it doesn't have equal sides. That was the weird part. But it's okay. <laughs> if you think about it, it'll you'll click. It'll click. It'll click. Now, that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope you're doing well. And if you have any questions about math, about science, about reading, if you don't understand words, if you don't understand how to do something, please let me know. Send me a message and I will hop on to the computer and help you out, okay? I'll walk you through it if you need to. All right, well, I hope you have a fabulously ship shape day. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Miss you.